Welcome traders to another Tick Mill earnings report preview with me, Patrick Munley. Before we jump into today's report, it's important we adhere to the risk disclaimer the material provided is for information purposes only and should not be considered as investment advice. The views, information, and opinions expressed by me are solely mine. They're not indicative or representative of those held by Tick Mill UK or Tick Mill Europe Limited. Okay, so let's jump into today's report. We're looking at AMD who report after the close this evening in New York. We're looking for a consensus earnings per share of 90 cents on revenue of 5.52 billion. There is a whisper number on the street that the earnings per share could come in a little light at the 87 cents per share. Investors will be focused on the amount of revenue generated by AMD's enterprise embedded and semi-custom segment. The segment encompasses server and embedded processors, semi-custom system on chip products, developed services and game console technology. It does not include AMD's desktop and notebook microprocessors, which are included in the company's computing and graphics segment. The enterprise embedded and semi-custom segment is the smaller of the company's two main segments, but it is growing at a rapid clip and could ultimately overtake the computing and graphics segment as the company's primary revenue generator. In fiscal year 2020, enterprise and embedded semi-custom chip was 34.1% of AMD's total revenue, while in fiscal year 2021, it's 43.2%. This segment covers areas of AMD's business that have suffered recent shortages due to rising demands, such as cars, as well as areas that could see rising growth, such as games consoles. AMD's enterprise embedded semi-custom business has grown dramatically in recent years after a slow start. In fiscal year 2019, revenue for the segment was 0.4 billion. It declined to 0.3 billion in the first quarter of 2020 during the early months of the pandemic. Then it nearly quadrupled year over year to 1.3 billion in the first quarter of 2021. Analysts predict a slower but still impressive pace of growth in the first quarter of 2022 as revenue in this segment could climb to as high as 2.3 billion. Okay, let's take a look at some of the statistical trading patterns around the earning release. Uh, AMD shares have moved lower in the immediate aftermath of earnings, 8 out of 12 pre- for previous reports. On average, the stock moved down 0.8% in the first day of trading. Based on the previous 12 earning releases, AMD is more likely to trade higher one day after earnings for an average gain of 0.5%. Stock has moved higher one week after earnings, 7 out of the previous 12 reports. On average, the stock moved higher by 3.7 percent in terms of what we can anticipate from the options market and implied volatility options traders traders are actually pricing in an 11.1 percent move on earnings and the stock has averaged a 4.2 percent move in recent quarters from the sentiment and flow perspective there's a notable buying 15,010 contracts of a 70 dollar call expiring on friday august the 19th Options order flow sentiment in general is bullish. Investor sentiment going into the company's earnings release has 71% expecting an earnings peak. Consensus estimates are for year-over-year earnings growth of 69.81%, the revenue increasing 60.23%. Short interest has decreased by 57% since the company's last earnings release, while the stock has actually drifted lower by 34.2% from its opening following its last earnings release. <coughs> to be 27.1% below its 200-day moving average at $117.39. So let's take a look at the charts now and see where there may be opportunities in this stock. So AMD is in a what I consider a corrective pattern at the moment versus the swing high at $133.55. I'm actually looking for a quality test at the $68 level it also coincides with a weekly trend line support. So I've been looking for any three wave corrective patterns to find resistance back just above the $100 level, then look for a downside extension into this $68 zone. I think that's an entry point to build a long term position in this stock. As always, traders, plan the trade, trade the plan, and most importantly, manage your risk. Until next time, thanks very much.